Welcome back to the Crochet Credit. So it's my friends at yarnspirations.com. Today's the Crochet Faded Bricks Blanket. This is not the waffle stitch. So when I saw this, I'm thinking, okay, it's the waffle stitch. We've done this before. But when I look carefully at this pattern, it's typically not. And when I look at the crochet diagram, we have something new that's going on here, which makes it a great tutorial today. If you'd like to change the size of your blanket, it's multiples of four plus six. So go four, four, four. When you're happy with the width, just add six and you'll have that. This is using the new Bernat Blanket Perfect Phasing Yarn. And so you are going to start off, you can start off with the center if you want to, and it will phase out to this color. And then the second ball, you're gonna go from the outside towards the end. So you can see that it's going from the dark to the light and then from the light to the dark, dark to the light and etc. And you need a total of five balls to make this 41 by 49 inch blanket. It's a perfect phasing so it is phasing uh, on its own. There's no jumping of colors and it will just transition like you see it. Without further ado, I'm going to demonstrate it with another Bernat Blanket product just to demonstrate how to do the stitch work because the stitch work is really quite easy and the repeating is really fast. Let's begin to do this pattern next. Let's begin and you are going to either chain 90 or you can do the multiples of four plus six. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to demonstrate that. So one, two, three, four, wide enough, yes or no, if not, keep on going. So you can substitute the yarn two and the hook as long as they complement each other to be able to do this pattern in other yarns. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, and one, two, three, four. I'm gonna say that I'm happy with the width, so then I just have to add six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So either chain 90 or do your multiples of four plus six. And let's start row number one next. For Bernat blanket and thick yarns like this, typically what I do is I go on the back hump of a chain, but when you do it on thick yarn like this, it creates a massive gap. So when you go second chain from the hook, so one and two right here, I am going to go and capture into the chain to make sure two of the strands are on top and I'm going to single crochet. And this will close in any big gaps that you'll have. So the back hump of the chain doesn't work in this kind of yarn. So we're going to chain four, so one, two, three, and four. And then you are going to skip three chains. So one, two, three, and go to the fourth one and single crochet in. And that's what your repeating is gonna do all the way across. So we're going to chain four, so one, two, three, four, and then skip three chains. So one, two, three, and go to the fourth. So please do this all the way across. Put me on pause now and I'll see you at the end of the row. It's coming near to the end. So one, two, three, four. If your counts are right, you'll be skipping over three. So one, two, and three, and go to the fourth. If you have an extra stitch or you're missing a stitch, just throw it in the last one and call it finished and it would be good to go. So sometimes you gotta fake it or make it. Let's turn our work and begin row number two. Row number two, the first chain three is going to count as your double crochet. And then right into this space here, we're going to place in three double crochet. So just go right into the space work itself. So we have one, two, and three. And then in the next single crochet right here, you're going to place in a double crochet. And that's what you're gonna do all the way across for this row. So the next chain four space, you're going to place in three double crochets. So one, two, and three, and then double crochet into the next single. So do this all the way across and I'll see you at the end of the row now. So put me on pause. So I'm coming across, I have the next space, which is the last space here. There's going to be three double crochets. So it's what you already know. and then you're going to double crochet into the final single crochet right here. And that was this row, row number two. So turn your work and now row number three is our next one up. Row number three is just like row number one. So you're just gonna chain up one and you'll single crochet into the first and then you'll chain four. So one, two, 
three, four, and then see the one that has the single crochet in it. So you're gonna skip three, but if you just look below, see how this is double is in the single, that's where you wanna go. So it's the fourth one away. So chain four again, so one, two, three, four, skip the first three, and the fourth one is in the single, and single in there. So please do this all the way across, I'll see you at the end of the row. So I'm continuing across, so I'm chaining four, and then I'm gonna single into the top of the first chain three. So don't go into a space, go into the actual chain work itself. And that will conclude then row number three. So we're gonna turn work and do row number five, or sorry, row number four and five. Four and five is the repeat for the whole thing until the end. So let's begin number four. So row number four, you're gonna chain three. And then in the space here, you'll put in three double crochet. So that hasn't changed. So we have one, two, and three. Then what we need to do, do you see that this, follow the single crochet down and see this one? This is the one you're going to do an extended double crochet or a double crochet in the front post. So what I wanna do is that I wanna wrap and I wanna go around that post, so into the side, pull through, and just give it a little bit of slack, and then pull through two and two, and that pulls everything down into it, like that. So come into your next chain four space and put in three double crochet. So we have one, two, and three. And then your next one, just follow the single crochet right down and you're going to do a front post double. So just give it the same kind of slack you did on the last one. And this will then provide that texture that you see. Okay, so next chain four space, just put in three. So one, two, three, and then single, follow it straight on down. I need you to do this all the way across, so put me on pause, and I'll see you at the end of the row. So I'm coming up close to the end, just following it across, so I have my last space, so there'll be three double crochets in that space, and then there will be one double crochet into the single crochet right there. Okay, so there's that row number four, and we're gonna turn our work and do number five. Row number five is the same as number three pretty much, and you're just gonna chain up one and single crochet in the first. Chain four, so one, two, three, four. And you're going to look for this one right here. So you're gonna skip the three and see this one here. It's a front post, but it's because it's turned backwards, it's over here. So that's the one you wanna single crochet. Chain four, so one, two, three, three, and four. And look for the one that is separating now. So it's a lot easier to see. So it's the fourth one away. So one, two, three, four, go all the way across. So just put me on pause, do this, and I'll be right back. So chain four and single crochet into the top of the last chain three. So that was row number five. So when you turn your work, you can see it's starting to happen on this side. And then I wanna go through rows number four and five just one more time with you on camera. So let's do that. So row number four to repeat is that you are going to just chain up uh, three. So one, two, three, and you're gonna put three double crochets into the first chain four space. So we have one, two, and three. And now this time, we're looking for this guy right down here. And you're going to just wrap the hook and do the front post double crochet around that guy. So just give it a bit of slack to come back up. So this line will then carry up just like that. Next chain four space is gonna have three double crochets. So we have one, two, and three. And then we're gonna do a front post double around this one right here. 
So you can see it's just going around the framework pretty much. Okay, next space, three double crochet. So one, two, three, and then coming down. So do this all the way across and I'll see you at the end of the row in just a moment. So coming to the last space, three double crochet into the space and then one into the single crochet at the end. So that was row number four. So when you lay it down, you can see what the sample is doing. And then you turn your work and let's repeat row number five just one more time with you on camera. So row number five, chain up one single crochet in the first, chain four, and just look for this here. So you're skipping the first three, it's the fourth one away. And then one, two, three, four. Skipping three, going into the fourth. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. So you're doing this all the way across and then you keep going back to rows number four and five over and over until you get to the size you want. Remember in the last one, it's the top of the chain three. So that would be how you would finish that. So you'd end up on a row number five to be your finish and then you can just uh, uh, fasten off when you feel like it. So the blanket will measure approximately 49 inches. So you keep going until it's about 49 inches and you can have a really cool effect. And originally I thought this was the waffle stitch, but this is a brick stitch and this is a really great concept and hopefully you enjoyed today's tutorial. Hope to see you again, bye-bye.